Yo, 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 what's going on out there, everybody, man? Welcome to another episode. Another episode of Black Compass, man. Black Compass Radio. We in the we in the building right now. I got my boy Driz here. Driz, what up? What's good, Tom, man? We got one of the one of the few the one of the rising stars in this whole thing, man. Somebody just and, and got potential to take this whole thing over, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hundred percent, man. So shout out to everybody out there listening right now in the building. In the building, we got we got Geechee Gotti. Gotti, what up, bro? Man, what up, man? What up, man? What's going on with y'all, man? Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm 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 happy. You know what I mean? I'm 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 excited today. You know, from the gym, came back from, from looking. You know what I mean? I I, I knew we yeah. had this one in the cut, so I'm just happy to have you back, bro. What's going on, Geechee? Oh man, it's all good, man. It's all good, nigga. Nigga, glad to be here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, glad to be able to get up with you, man. You know what I'm saying? To talk my shit, you feel me? So, yeah, man, appreciate y'all having me on. Gotti, man. First off, man, welcome home. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, oh appreciate that, Brody. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, that's, that's a blessing that you that you was able to get back get back to what you do, get back to your family and everything. Uh, that's a fact. What, what's, when, when, when something like that happens, you get, you're able to get, you know, touch back down and, and get back to doing what you do. What's the first thing you do? Because a lot of people think, like, oh, run straight to the studio but like these we have in real life so what's the first thing you do when you touch home well in this case right here you know what i'm saying this probably like the shortest little amount of time i would have never sat up in there you dig what i'm saying so really it wasn't too much but get back out and just with my peoples man my family you know what i'm saying got kids uh-huh. and shit so you know just want to touch bases with them you know what uh-huh. i'm saying like uh the time when I did a little longer stint, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, you know, the first thing you want to do after you done been in there for a minute, like months and years, maybe you dig what I'm saying? First thing I know people be wanting to do is get a nice little meal. You dig what I'm saying? They want to eat something. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? That, that, they've been, that they've been dreaming about, been thinking about chili cheese fries or something. Like, <laughs> take, me the, take me to the spot, you know what I'm saying? You want to meet up with your girl and knock it down, you know, all that. But, you know, <laughs> right. This little, stint, this little stint right here wasn't nothing but a couple of weeks, so down there just wanted to just you know get back to for my peoples and then just get back to really this this battle rap shit and this rap these music you know what i'm saying just trying to get back get it keep it going get it in motion yeah yeah no and i, I mean that that's um that's really what it is and, and and shout out to everybody that's out there right now i see i see the live is filling up you know it's more and more people coming in here and everything like that make sure you hit us up at black compass media um Gotti, i you know as somebody that's been following you for a while and, and seeing how your yeah. your career has progressed and things like that, I think uh, it's a couple things that definitely stand out with you in terms of being authentic West Coast from the accent to the to the to the content to the imagery and yeah. everything like that. Um, you know, how important is it for you to project that that image of the West and 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 kind of contrast that from you know, from where back then maybe y'all wasn't getting all the respect that y'all deserved. But but like, how important is it to you to bring that that West Coast vision uh, of of you know what y'all got going on to battle rap? Yeah, man, it, it's definitely important. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we got you, bro. Yeah, 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 we got yeah, you. yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely it's definitely important. You know what I'm saying? It's for me to bring that because I know uh, I know exactly how how hard it is. You know what I'm saying for for people especially coming from the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we know that as far as battle rap go, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it started, you know what I'm saying, predominantly in the East, you know what I'm saying? So uh, a majority of the fan bases and the and the leagues and everything, you know what I'm saying, started over there, you feel me? You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to SMAC and URL TV, you know what I'm saying? It's the, the home base is New York. So for me coming from the West, just trying to put my stamp in, I just feel like it's important to show like that it's talent all over the world, which I think that's what URL does. They try to get the best talent from every region. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to just get in there and let it know, let, let people know like, yes, people in Compton that are rappers, people in Compton that can battle rap, you know what I'm saying? That can do it on a high level and compete with people all over the world. And I ain't got to say, I don't got to necessarily sound like a, a loaded Lux or sound like even a Danny Myers, you know what I'm saying? I can be myself, you dig what I'm saying, and, and be able to still make a mark in the game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that they receptive to it, you feel me? Right. Gotti, you coming coming from, you know, being from Compton and you kind of represent more the, the street side of Battle Rap for the West Coast. Was it hard to kind of get past the niche of, because for a while, uh, the yeah. West Coast battle scene was kind of known as, you know, from the grind time era, you know, they was known for the, kind of the backpackers and and um 
you know, guys like that. Not saying that they're not good, but just that style. That's not the style that you have. And it seemed like the street side of the West Coast battle scene was wasn't really getting love for a hard time. Was it kind of hard to shake that notion of, you know, y'all don't y'all don't yeah. have their street MCs? Yeah, man. Yeah, it, it definitely. You know what I'm saying? I felt like coming up because it's a lot of like as far as when it comes to West Coast battle rap, like in, on the mainstream side of it, the first person you probably gonna think of is like disaster. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everybody kind of gonna gonna like associate West Coast battle rap to that grind time era. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm -hmm. okay, that's what they do over there. You know, the Fresh Coast and. You know what I mean? All the multi-syllable rappers and shit like that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. uh, for, for, for me, I felt like it definitely was, was going to be a transition to get that light because because a lot of the times when you coming up, when you coming up, it's like people don't really get that light on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of dudes who do the shit that I do. You dig what I'm saying? But they don't be getting those opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cats like Dre Vicious and like that who've been rapping street and, and representing you know what i mean they they hoods and all that and they raps too for a minute you know what i mean but it'd be hard for them to get on so yes yeah, it's tough but i feel like like it's like you continue to perfect your craft it's with anything you'll get through there you know what i'm saying it's about perfecting your craft too you know what i'm saying you can't be half doing it you anybody can rap some street shit, but if it ain't dope at the same mm -hmm. time then then it ain't gonna get there anyway you know what i'm saying it's just gonna be some regular shit yeah, because you know, you know what's crazy? Because you've been you've been doing it for a minute, and then yeah. it's like, but you've always been yourself, and then it's just like once it hit, it just hit, and you and it just took off. Like, yeah, it was, you yeah. know, once they, the the people got a real feel for who Geechee got it is, and, and you had that yeah. performance to match. Yeah, uh, you just really it seemed like you just really took off, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. I, I don't think me being from LA, I don't think people realize how much you sound like Compton. Like I know yeah. it, I know like this. So when we, when we hear people like DC rapping, or even when you hear Dre Vicious, like they sound like these cities. Watts, DC mm -hmm. Compton, you hear yeah. these other like Diesel Inglewood. They sound yeah. like 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 our city. So it's just great to just finally have a piece of that in battle. Real talk. At, least, like, at least on this side. Real talk. At least, at least on talk. this side. So. Real talk. And I think that's what and I think that's what's important. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah. and that's really what it is, because like you when, when you hear certain rappers, you know what I'm saying, they sound like where they from. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, right. it, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like when you hear, you know what I'm saying, T Top and them, like they sound like they from like North Carolina somewhere in the in the, you know what I mean? They got that little country slang to their flow. You know what I'm saying? So you right. respect that when you hear them dudes, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. When you hear a, a good a, some, he got that New York style. You feel me? So mm -hmm. you gonna you, you gonna automatically relate to that. So it's, I feel like that was important for us too to to have that sound, that's where like you know, nah, that's a that's what somebody from over there sound like. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, you feel me? Like, and that's what cool. make it unique. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. what make it different because it's authentic and it ain't. It's not what everybody else is doing. You know what I mean? Real everybody shit. can't can't sound like they from comp. You know what I mean? It's, it yeah, gotta be real talk. Real talk. Right, right. And I and I think as a, as the uh, lone East Coast uh, on the on the show right now, I will say for me personally, and I I, I said this to you before. I grew up with Menace to Society and and you know what I mean Boys in the yeah. Hood and and NWA and like that. So my impression of the West Coast was uh, something completely different. Yeah. And sometimes I mean no shot at nobody, but when I look so, at some of the West Coast rappers and, and battle rap, it wasn't what I grew up with thinking that the West Coast. What mm -hmm. it wasn't Doughboy yeah. and Kane. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you <laughs> you bringing that. You know what I'm saying? Like like yeah, Dicky yeah. suits and palm trees and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think even on the East Coast, we appreciate that. What is what yeah. has it been the reception been from people out here? Have you been you been hearing any uh, yeah. you know buzz and anything like that? Can you get into that for us? Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been getting nothing but love. You know what I'm saying from 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 other battle rappers to like the vets in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones that communicate with me, it don't be nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and, and, po and positive advice on how to keep going, you know what I mean? And keep bringing what I bring to the table, even even from uh, league owners like Beasley and Smack, even to Organic, you know what I'm saying? It ain't never been like no no, no knock to me. It always been like, yo, you know what I'm saying? The support there, like, you know what I'm saying? If you, you fucking with us, we fucking with you type of vibe, you know what I mean? So it's definitely just been like, been having being real receptive to me for far as I see, you know what I'm saying? It's basically on me to continue to show my growth, you know what I mean? And gain and the fans too, like you know, like you say, nigga that went to jail and motherfuckers, like you know what I mean? Free Gotti, you know what I'm saying? Probably more people that I don't know saying free me than niggas that I do, you know what I mean? And that's check the that out. first 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so that was something yeah. dope. Like, to even my homies to see that, like, also, man, who was this white boy talking about free you and he got twenty dollars <laughs> for you and all that? Like, man, shit, man, I don't know, but good looking. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate mm-hmm. it, man. Like, humbly. You know what I'm saying? Because coming from where a nigga from, man, a lot of times they be niggas in there in, in the same position as me without that light on them that don't got nothing, don't got nothing else going for Facts. them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I appreciate it because it's niggas who gang banging all day. Like, see, I, I can rap about it, but I don't got to do it as often mm-hmm. at the next, at the next, man. It's somebody that's, that's standing in their hood right now with a gun on their hips and ain't got no type of skill besides that right now. They thinking about whether they finna have to rob somebody or sell a pack or something, you know what I'm saying, to get their mm. next dollar, you know what I'm saying? I gotta pray for those brothers because it's tough like that. I've been in them positions to where I couldn't get paid to rap, you know what I'm saying? So I had yeah. to hit a, I had to hit a nigga or something to do something because you gotta feed them kids, you gotta pay that rent, you gotta do something. So you know what I mean? And that's what I feel like my voice speak to because there's people that can relate to that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. like it's, it's somebody, going like I say, going through that everywhere right now, you know what I mean? And that's why you say uh, can remind you of that that style because it, and no knock to whoever came before me, but it, it's different from living. Like anybody can attest to that. Even niggas on the phone, you know what I'm saying? If you you can live in it, just like Kendrick Lamar say, "Good kid in the Mad City." He can only tell you his perspective. Right. He can't even tell you the full intro of the mm-hmm. politics of being inside of it because it's still like a subculture. It's like an Illuminati. If you ain't really in it, you ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? You can see that's in it and kick it with niggas in it. Mm-hmm. If you ain't in it, you don't know. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm speaking for, I'm, yeah, I'm speaking for a motherfucker that really was in it and know what's going on to be able to put that into the perspective too. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me talking about it. Let me ask this because this is the people's main not. I'm from LA, so I get Geechee. Everything you say, I get it. Like you mm-hmm. might, you might reference some stuff that's super regional that the other niggas don't know about, but I know yeah, what you're talking about. Exactly. How you gonna make that transition when you gotta go to New York and then we and then you still talk about that game? Still talk about that yeah. shit. How yeah. was you gonna make a transition and make them feel it too? Because some shit you say only we know what you talk about. Yeah, man. Like that. I don't know what you talking about. Yeah, straight so how down. are you gonna be able to make that transition when you when you when you hit them big stages? Or you got to go to yeah. uh, somewhere DRB. different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, nah, definitely, man. I, I learned that when, with the Ty battle. I felt you know what I'm saying a lot of shit I was saying was just straight mm-hmm. regional. You know what I'm saying? Like to the point where I'm yeah. like, man, I know I'm fucking this dude up, but they kind of. I remember that. So I basically feel like now that I done grown a little bit in it, I'm kind of because it, it's, it's street dudes everywhere and it's now gangs is everywhere too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it's hoods everywhere, man. It's a lot of it's struggle everywhere, not even on top of just the, the hood shit. It's struggle everywhere. It's still people going through it, even that has got jobs and all that is struggling and going through it. This nigga that's working right now contemplating on selling drugs. You feel me? Because he feel like he ain't making enough at his job. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So there's people that's, that can relate to it all over. I just feel like with me making the transition, it's more so just also doing it. I, I feel like I've got more clever with it, with the punches. Like, see, people kind of kind of just can, like put me in that box with the gangster shit. Like, oh, he talked that real talk, but if they yeah. sit back and listen... They see like now I done grown my punches like I have a like that's what I had to learn to make it regional to where mm-hmm. like yeah, I'm gonna say this but I'm a, it's gonna be a cold punchline that anybody can relate to you don't even gotta be from nowhere to know what a, you know what I mean what a punchline is and you listen exactly. to the rap you gonna be like oh damn nigga that nigga made sense with that you feel me okay so that's what it is so you know what Gotti you know uh, you you got one of the bigger buzzes uh, you know for for being a rising star in battle rap now one, now one. it's difficult with this era how do you how do you walk walk the tightrope of, um, you know, giving the fans uh, uh, battles they want to see versus yeah. oversaturating yourself? And then what do you do as far as, you know, because you want to grow in this thing. Do you yeah. go after the names or do you take the people that's, you know, just got their own buzz a little bit that ain't as big yeah. of a name? How do you how do you figure all that out? All right. Well, all right. In, in regards to that right there, I feel like. Like, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. You want to battle some of these names because of the simple fact when you got in it coming up, these are the people that you that you watched. You know what I'm saying? It's just like uh, Kobe going in the league and Jordan was still in there. Of course, he wanted to play against Jordan and them dudes. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like in order to really grow and show that they can really do what they're supposed to do in this culture, you got to create them new classics. Like, it got to be somebody that's coming up that got a mm-hmm. buzz. Mm-hmm. It, which just like yourself and y'all get up there and prove that 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 y'all can handle the hype that y'all names got. You know what I'm saying? 
Like that's mm-hmm. what it's about, man. You know what I mean? Because if you get up there and, and battle somebody that, that that you coming up with, and y'all making classics and shit is dope, then that's what it is. Like look at me and Glue Easy, for example. You dig what I'm saying? Like people talking about that was one of the better battles of last year, mm-hmm. and that shit happened in a, in a real small room out in Cali. You know what I'm saying? But both of us came 110. percent You dig what I mean? And, and went on and did what we were supposed to do, and then you'll have a big battle between people like you know what I mean? Uh. Hitman Holly and K Sean and nigga and, and, and no disrespect to them because nigga a salute to both of them brothers, but I feel like our battle was better than theirs. You know what I'm saying? So and I could mm-hmm. so he could have he he could have battled K Sean, I could have battled Hitman Holly, and who's to say those battles would have been better than me and Glue Easy? You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like it's time like to to to, to the battles <clears throat> is to really try to make those those new up and comers man stars. They got to get in the ring with each other and fight it out, and then if people feel like you ready. Those vets is gonna want to battle you anyway. If you hot, they gonna want to knock you off your high horse. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you just you mm-hmm. get yourself and you get yourself in position. Don't just be jumping out the gates your first battle where they think you dope. Next thing you know, you calling out Mook like, "Let's get it, Mook. Where you at?" You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. I've been right. waiting on you, like nigga. Let Cud chill where he been chilling, and you just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let him come and holler at you. You gotta know you a star. Like you feel me? That's a type of I am anyway. Like from the streets, like I'm already feel like if I walk in the room. With Jay Z or whoever, like nigga, I'm who I am. You dig what I'm saying? Like it ain't no time to be chasing no. Nigga. I'm a grown man. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, nigga, real, like, that's real. You feel me? As long as the nigga get paid and whatever, nigga, for who you put me in the ring with? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so Geechee Gotti ain't getting starstruck no time soon. That's what. That's what man. I like to hear, bro. Hell no. <laughs> Come on, we from LA, man. That, yeah, man. Starstruck, man. Nah, hell no, nah, man. Say that. <laughs> Uh, so 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 Geechee, I I I want to get into the X's and O's of your style and into battle rap itself. Um, okay, you know we mm-hmm. we know the 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 gang affiliation and and everything like that. And I I will say just for me, you know, I shout the pose. I, I I'm a civilian, so I don't really. I don't know, <laughs> like in certain lines, I don't, that's the third rail for me. I don't really, yeah. I don't, you know, what yeah. I mean, I don't know nothing about it. Franchise voice, yeah, but fine. what I'll say is. <laughs> You know, I got respect for it, and I see that that's intertwined with some of your rhymes, and you you call people out yeah. for you know maybe uh, claiming yeah. something that you know what I mean whatever you you got yeah. the little shot yeah. at Saint. I know even though yeah. Saint the homie, you you got him with the yeah. little bloodline or whatever. Yeah. How do you hey, feel man. about gang culture in battle rap? Is there ever a time where you you kind of on edge or or whatever? Like what what's your like? Uh, can you speak on that? Just ask somebody yeah. that that's authentic, that's really yeah. outside. You know. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. I feel like I mean it's in there. You know what I'm saying? It's far it go it come hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, to mm-hmm. a certain to, to a certain degree because like you say, battle rap came from the streets. You know what I'm saying? There's gangsters in the streets, so you gonna have dudes that rap. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the industry, a lot of them industry rappers. You got Snoop Dogs and and all these dudes who was gang bangers that that rap. You know what I'm saying? You got mm-hmm. dudes now like Casanova and. YG and you know what I mean? Like Mixy Hustle, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So it go hand in hand with the music. I feel like at the same time though, it's still it's still a form of entertainment. So at the end of the day, uh, you basically you still trying to entertain the fans, man. It's, and it's about respect. Like if you're a respectable person and like however you is in the streets, is how you should be in that ring anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna necessarily get up there and and do nothing that I wouldn't do in, in real life. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So whatever I'm gonna do up there, I'm be done in real life. Then I'm not gonna take no disrespect that I wouldn't take in real life, but at the same time, in the in the law of battle rap, I can understand what certain lines can be crossed and what lines can't. You know what I'm saying? Like I think I had a, I was battling Glue Easy, and he said, "Um, I'm, I got a hundred shots for Nutty Block. I'm crab hunting." You did what I'm saying? I was just about to add. Yeah, that was yeah. I was, yeah. I was, that's why I wanted to segue to like you see, yeah. in our city. In our city, you can't do crab and slob. And I feel like when the out of towners come in, the, when they come in, the, um, come here. And they spit their rhymes and they kind of implement that. Because when it's L.A. battles versus L.A. battles, we don't do that. We don't crab yeah. it and slob it. Yeah. We don't do that. Yeah, I think, straight uh, up. I think people need to learn the politics because we, it, like, the, that, I, I didn't see people get beat up for those type of things. So I think yeah. people need to, need to kind of learn the politics. But we let it go because we know yeah. you're out of town. Is, but how do you yeah. how do you feel about that? See, me personally, you did what I'm saying. It, 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 it's to the point to where it's like, all right, I, 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 I've I grown up enough in been around yeah. enough to, to where it's like I understand the entertainment side now. Outside of that battle, if we was just walking down the streets and he'd have been like, yo, what up, nigga? I'm crab hunting. Like, nigga, we have a 
turned into something different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know That's what I'm wild, yo. Yeah, but in the battle, like it's like, bro, you doing what you can to try to discredit. That that's a fact, I, and I understand that. You dig what I'm saying? Because I'm more of a disrespectful rapper. I say all type of shit. I'm killing niggas' kids and yeah. fucking all type of shit that I wouldn't say to them in real life either. I wouldn't like disrespect somebody's child. You know what I'm saying? Or nothing yeah. like that. Just off the dribble. So I understand that. Now, when it comes to like getting personal with it, though, like just like if like if I'm going, oh man, you had a dead homie or something and I knew his name I'm not gonna get up there and do that cause that's a whole nother level of disrespect that I just don't play Dude. with you know? and yeah. I wouldn't expect nobody to think they could play with me like that you know what I'm saying right. say like a, mm-hmm. say their name like you could say oh I'll kill your dead homies but if you say his name like yo I'll kill such and such you did just the same way such and such got killed like it'd be like hold on bro don't, y'all don't do that you know what I'm saying because I, I can't I can't ensure your safety anyway because he got family just like the Kanika Jenkins boy you feel me mm-hmm. so yeah. certain people got people that they gonna hold a, who they gonna ride or die for regardless outside of rap mm-hmm. you feel me but as far as like little words like that crap slob and now I'm saying no disrespect but in the battle words, you know, some people gonna say it and they gonna they gonna take it how they take it. Me, I can take it because I'm I'm grown enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I can understand like that's what it is to do what you got to do to try to win the battle. And outside the battle, I wouldn't let nobody do it, and I wouldn't encourage nobody to think that that's what you play with somebody with outside of rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you right. do up there. You know what I mean? Even in the ring, sometimes don't try. You never know. Another nigga might not be as woke as me. You know what I'm saying? It might yes, take right, it personal. right. You know what I'm saying? Might take I just always personal. wanted that, Geese, because it's like, I know how sensitive that, like, niggas here, that shit is super sensitive. Nigga might die yeah. over that. Like, yeah, so it's like, straight up, straight up. Hear, like, I be thinking how to, like, when they in the building, like, how the people around feel when they hear shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That type of shit, you know, but, but what yeah. I can say is, it's growing a lot over there, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, somebody like myself, when I bring niggas with me, man, I already let them know from the jump. You dig what yeah. I'm saying? With well, if you come in here and you gonna be a part of this mm-hmm. shit, bro, we gonna respect it the same way. Cause I don't want to be that dude who they like. Oh, he coming with all these and they fuck everybody up and this and that and he <laughs> yeah, this yeah, and that. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I want motherfucker to see. Like now I'm trying to be the with skill. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you go to the next level, then that's then that's when it go there. But you know, ain't nobody really trying to do all that on cameras and all that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't yeah. that don't prove you tough. That's like a a PC move. I sock for calling me a crab on camera right there. A hundred people in the building, somebody gonna break it up within two seconds and then it's just, that's, that's all that, that's all nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if, exactly. You, if you're serious about it, you address it afterwards like, yo, check it out, homie, what you said up in there, let me holler at you. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so nobody gotta be around, so you know what I mean? But as far as this in the ring, man, they can be able to say what they say as long as you gotta, you know your level of not crossing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And I think beforehand, if you got a level that you don't want cross, then that's what you can tell your opponent. You know what I mean? You got to have a right, pregame right, talk. Right, yeah, right. exactly. Like, if you, if you don't address that with nobody, then I think it's fair game up there. You know what I'm saying? So now, now Geechee, with the with the fans, a lot, I feel like a lot of the, the up and comers, you know, they don't understand this thing about the fans. You got to know this ahead of time. The fans are very fickle in this game. One minute yeah. they love you, the next yeah. minute they not. And the yes, same they thing do. they love you for right now, they go, yeah, they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. people love T Top's drug talk, and then you know he he kept doing it. And now you know, oh, all he does is talk drugs. So, uh-huh. You know, you, you got to be prepared for that. How do you how do you take into consideration what the fans are saying as far as because the social media aspect changed a lot of things. Like when yeah. when Herb and Hitman these niggas was first coming out, they didn't really hear what the fans were saying. They was just doing what Real they talk. do. Real talk. But now it's like Real y'all. Talk. Y'all can see exactly what the fans is saying about all y'all performances, every line. So how do you take that into consideration to when you prep for a battle? All right. Honestly, I think, I mean, you got to take it, you know what I mean, for what it's worth. You know what I mean? Like, as far as constructive criticism, because, I mean, all these fans ain't, not not to knock them, man, I I love and and respect anybody that's supporting my brand, but everybody don't know what they talking about. Everybody not a... It's an opinionated sport, so it might be somebody that'd be like, man, I'm sick of hearing gun bars, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. This and that, you know what I'm saying? Then you go your next battle trying to sound like somebody that don't do it and get booed off the stage, you know what I'm saying? Because you listening to what this dude done said. I feel like what it basically is, is like you can take it for constructive criticism for what it is. They, they, they'll point you in the right directions, but you don't change who you is for nobody, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you feel like is your best material, you bring your best material. Now, you change a little bit, though, as far as... Anyway, it shouldn't even take a fan to tell you that you need to elevate your game and not do the same thing every time. You know what I'm saying? You kind of want to, like, like show growth. It's like with any job. Eventually, you want to grow with it. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Uh, 
a basketball player like Jay Kidd, when he first came in the league, he was just known for having dope passes. By the time he uh, retired, he was one of the better three-point shooters. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had, mm-hmm. he had to add, add that to his game. So I think that's just what it's all about, adding, mm-hmm. to his, add, adding shit to your game with this shit. You know what I mean? So if they saying some shit that you feel like you need to tweak or you feel like you can't add to your repertoire and it ain't hurting like what you already do, then yeah, man, you know, for the fans is who paying and putting the money in the pocket. So definitely do that. You know what I'm saying? And then these bloggers and shit too, you know, like you got people like y'all sales and Jay Black and different dudes who be giving constructive criticism too. And sometimes people might take it the wrong way, but at the same time, they also oh, fans. Don't we know it. Don't we know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but me, I look at it like, at the same time, that, that that niggas is fans of the culture and fans of certain artists, so they definitely trying to give them some little insight on what they feel like can make that artist better. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it, it's the you know what I mean. So it ain't nothing personal. Now it's a, nobody telling you you gotta do it. Like shit, don't do it. Do what you want to do. But if you can do it, then do it. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah but don't don't put too much stock into what up, where everybody else say. Like you still gotta be yourself. Don't don't change all the way. But you know, like I say, man, just try to do what you can when you can. So, so, so Gotti, I'm taking a, um, you know, we, we got, we got a bunch of supporters, a bunch of listeners on, they have questions. I'm compiling the, yeah, the, uh, the questions by the way, but, um, but I, I just want to, I, I want to get to this first. I mean, you, you talk about growth and everything. What are the, uh, if there's a battle or a couple battles that maybe you said, you know what, I learned a lot from this situation. Uh, yeah. you know, what I know obviously with the TY situation, you had come over yeah. to New York and different environment things like that but is there any other mm-hmm. battle that you had that you might have said you know what let me let me go and look at the game tapes and, and, and if so what'd you learn from that uh danny myers battle you know what i'm saying that that, that one rounder you know what i mean i i definitely i had that choke in there so i want I, I learned like you know what i'm saying at the end of the day man like i feel like i over prepared for that one you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i know people might like that shit sound crazy but all the way up into the to, to the venue, I'm, I'm going over my lines over and I had it perfectly and I'm still going like, I had to learn like, you know what, sometimes you got to just relax. I feel like over prepared sometimes, I, I over prepared, I needed to just relax. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's what, after that I felt like I could, I could battle anybody though because he put the most pressure on me still that I felt in the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Danny, you know, he, he a wordsmith so every bar and punch he was coming with, I'm like, okay, so you know, if I can stand and, and take these punches and deliver some back and, and motherfuckers can respect my pen or respect what I'm saying in this battle, then I feel like no matter who I go up against, I should be able to do enough because he a rapper's rapper. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get out there and rap. So right. like, he, yeah. he, gonna, he gonna come back to back with it all night. So yeah, I learned from, from that battle. You dig what I mean? Like, Definitely, man. I, I think I learned from my last battle with Av as well, too, on traffic. My last URL battle, you know what I'm saying, with Av, you know what I'm saying, because that was my first time really being on a bigger stage. I know it ain't Gnome or uh, Urban Plaza type of stage, but, like, to have, I, that was my first time battling in front of that many people. And to, mm-hmm. to be able to, I showed that I could control the crowd, you know what I'm saying? I showed that I could move around up there, and you know what I'm saying, and kind of connect with the people. So I, I learned, you know what I'm saying, definitely from that battle just, how, how it's going to be if I continue to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? That you got to be able to bring. I felt what bars was, was hit. Basically, I'm saying I felt what bars was the ones that hit those bigger crowds. You know what I'm saying? Big stages to the opposed to the shit that I need to keep in the small room setting. You know what I mean? Because some of the mm-hmm. shit I thought would hit fell flat, but some of the shit that I thought wasn't too much was was bigger in the big room. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of learned what they fuck with in those big stages more than what they fuck with in the small room. Yeah. Um... Some of man, TK is 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 battling on the East Coast super important as far as being like a battler and earning respect. I feel like that East Coast gauntlet. Yeah, I, I feel those. like yeah, mm. I feel like you got to. You know, I mean, I know, mm-hmm. uh, I know, majority of people will probably be like, oh no, man, battle where you from? But I feel like if you're trying to really do this shit on a high level, at the end of the day, some of the best battlers have battle right there like on on the east coast you know what i'm saying in urban plaza you dig what i'm saying and you yeah. want to hit that stage you know and, and prove you can do it you know that should be a that should be one of your goals if this is what you're doing it for you know what i'm saying now if you're just doing it just to you know like be a little local dude and you know what i mean do what you got to do then you know you can do it anywhere you feel me but if you're trying to really make a name for yourself and 
you know what I'm saying, and, and, and go down with one, of the, with one of the better names of the culture, then, yeah, I feel like it is important, you know what I'm saying, just keeping it real, at yeah. least to show that you can do it, you know what I'm saying, because it's going to always be doubters. It'll be that asterisk next to your name, you know what I'm saying, like, ah, right, right. Yeah, he, he could have, he was good, but he wasn't great because he didn't, you know what I mean, so yeah. and any, yeah. any, any, any competitor don't want that, so they don't want to, like, prove all the naysayers, you know what I'm saying, and all the doubters, so, yeah. I definitely feel like if you're from another region, you want to come to the East, you know what I'm saying, and, and show what you can do. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. And and Gotti, so I want to get I want to get to some of these listener questions and all that. And, and the that's first that's question good. that I'm going to start with, my man asks, what's good with the closed eyes? What's up, oh. man? <laughs> what, what are we doing with these closed eyes while you cooking shit? <laughs> hey, man, this, hey, this, this, I, I think I said this before on somewhere, but like I'm telling you, my shit be open, girl, like no bullshit. My shit look closed as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, I be tripping, I be tripping when I look back at the battles on my mama, I be looking and I'm like, damn, my shit look the clothes. But when I'm up there, nigga, I'm like, I'm my eyes wide open if you ask me. Like, I'm seeing everything. Like, I swear, a nigga couldn't swing on me and, and and nothing and I wouldn't like ain't like I'm up there and just can't see what's going on like I'm Ray Charles like nigga my shit open I'm just got some naturally low eyes you know what I'm saying like you know what I mean I guess my mama mm-hmm. eyes or my daddy eyes is, just was like that you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. I just got naturally low eyes so it, like when I'm talking and, and, and getting in my bag and then plus like my eyes is bad too like you know what I'm saying I hope you know what I'm saying? You feel me? That don't be an angle for somebody, but you know, a nigga be needing glasses and all types of shit to really see. So probably, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So probably when I'm up there, my shit might be straining. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but on the hood, my shit be open, man. But right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try my I, I, I'm gonna try my best to, to have them more open for the, for the cameras because I'll be looking at the battles like, yeah, I'm looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we all we all just thought it was that good Cali, you know what I mean? That, that good Cali greenery. I I, I didn't know nah, I didn't know nah, what was happening. Nah, so, so so I, I Geechee, I, I gotta ask you this, man. I, I, I we gotta get to this. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm hearing things. People, you know now I I love to see you battle. You know the calicos. You know that'd be uh, a great a great look for you. I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing the tech nine being thrown out there, but mm. I need to know what's going on with you and Snake Eyes. The oh, yeah. battle was sold. Like the y'all yeah. said, y'all sold the fight. Yes, to, you know what I'm saying it's the yeah. East Coast Street Street. You know what I'm saying versus the West yeah. Coast Street. What, like that's it. what I that's what I need. I need I can eat off that for a good two months. What's yeah. going on with that battle? Hey, you hey, listen here, man. Like I told Snake and like he told me, man, we ready. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't ducking no smoke, no diss to him, but like, come on, man. Like I, I done been in there with with that 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 bark, that rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? So it ain't like I'm oh man, hell no, nah, he too good. Or he don't think he's looking at me that way. Like, no, nah, I got him too good. We want to battle. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just the the time it happened, we was supposed to battle in October. I'm gonna tell y'all, like, I, uh, we was supposed to battle in October. They had the, the DMV event was supposed to be in October. You did what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Now I went to jail in September, and I didn't mm-hmm. get out to like the end of October. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right before Traffic Three. You feel me? So with that happening, I, I, I they already had pushed the event back though. Anyway, from what I understand, they had already changed the event anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I guess it wasn't supposed to go down. So then when when uh, I was supposed to turn myself in initially on January the 22nd, uh, I was supposed to accept my time and, and, and go in on that day. And they had the event in the DMV on the 20th, but he already had an opponent. They had offered me somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I had, I was like, nah, I'm straight. You feel me? Because he had done that. I wanted to battle Snake and his opponent was already locked in. He was going with Mac Mill. It was, it was already in stone. So I was cool on that. So basically mm-hmm. i feel like it was just timing you know what i'm saying that, that the bullshit jail shit and how they pushed it back from october it just ruined our timing you know what i'm saying because we was locked in as far as i knew you feel me and then man. how did um how did you and av come about like for traffic was that something that just that just kind of got put together or that was like kind of in talks for a while it, it, it kind of was like uh i want to say av had a he did a i want to I, I think he was on the psa podcast and he kind of like alluded to the fact that he mm-hmm. wouldn't mind getting in the ring with me you know what I'm saying? If, if it came down to that, and then, like, you know, like, I fuck with Av, even before that, you know, we will be chopping it, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, always show love and support. So when I, when I was, uh, before I went in, before I went to jail, they had offered me somebody for traffic, 
You know what I'm saying? And then when I so then when I was I don't know what happened. Maybe I got in there and then she changed. But when I got out or whatever, once I was out on bail, KG and them hit me like, "Yo, man, uh, Av, you know what I'm saying? Like we've been talking with Av, you with it? I'm like, man, shit, hell yeah, like you know. So I really don't know how it came about all the way because it wasn't no like no storyline behind it or no shit like that. You feel me? Like, oh, these niggas. Ben won the battle was just more so I felt like maybe Av just was like, you know what, let me let me battle the homie. You know what I'm saying? He, he out on bail. Let me give him one. You know what I'm saying? So most likely it was probably some shit like that. You feel me? Just came. It just happened. You feel me? Salute to him for okay. that, though. That shit was dope. So so um, so um another question. Your top three battlers out the West right now. Uh, right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not including myself. Hey, hey, I'm do what saying. you want with it. <laughs> no, nah, you know, because I'm going to say Gotti, Geechee, and Geechee Gotti. Nah, <laughs> without, <laughs> without including myself, because I, I I feel like I'm a top dude. I'm going to tell y'all, uh, Rum Nitty, of course, you know what I'm saying? You feel mm -hmm. me? Rum, Rum Nitty, of course. I, and I don't really want to say the normal names, though, because I know they everybody knows they like that he is a Nitty and them. But I, I'm going yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm to throw Rum Nitty. Out there, but to me, he like the best coming out the West right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nitty, Nitty the top dude on the West right now. You know what I'm saying? No, no debate. And the same with B Dot. I feel like B Dot in that class too, to where it's like, man, he, everybody know what he do. But I'm gonna give y'all some names that people they probably don't expect. Emerson Kennedy, mm. you did what I'm saying. Emerson mm -hmm. Kennedy, uh, Young Grizz, you feel what mm, I'm saying? Fire you know, Grizz, yeah, yeah. Right. And, if, and if y'all get a chance, check out my boy Eli the Mayor. Man, he had a drop. You know what I'm saying on URL and uh. And and, uh, and I throw another one out here, the spot man. He done been to New York, had a couple of PGs, man, and he just cooked at this last event the other day, man, against the kid clutch. They had a good battle, so okay, yeah, those are those I be the clutch dudes, too. Man. I yeah, yeah, so clutch, yeah, so clutch is fire. Dre Vicious, it's a lot. I can name a lot of Diesel. You feel me? But right. you know, I, I had to give a ten, man. And then they, a lot of know a lot of the up and coming fans probably don't know these dudes because they haven't hit as many big stages. But these dudes is fire, man. So what what was your impression of the West Coast PG? I know I know you said you was you was in attendance for that. What what did you think were the standouts and and what's the overall impression of the scene out there? Oh, it was it was good, man. You dig what I'm saying? Uh. It, 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 it was good, man. It, it, a lot of the battlers did their thing. As far as standouts, I would say it was a battle. I don't know if these, these two names is newer on the scene, so y'all won't probably know them off bat. His real name, Brandon and Fix. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a lot of people in the building felt like they had the battle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Like those two dudes, maybe they was, they was hungry, and they really, you know, just one of those battles that you don't think was going to be the battle of the night, and they just went crazy on each other. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully... URL dropped that and get put and shed a light on them two dudes, man, because they definitely was working. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the Saint battle YD, that was a pretty decent battle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was a decent. That was a decent battle on both ends. The spot versus Clutch, like you say, you fuck with Clutch. The spot, oh, yeah. they they had a they, them two also had a dope battle, man. So it was a it was a lot of good battles, man, on, on that card, man. Salute to all them dudes who came out and did their thing, man. But I would say, yeah, the spot and Clutch. Real name Brandon and Fix was the two uh, standout battles of that of that PG PG night. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, and and uh, and, and then I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about the uh, the hit list. You got oh, you got yeah. a couple yeah, names yeah, yeah. on the we list. Need we need to sign need up that. for that wreck. What? what yeah. uh, let me see, man. My hit list, man. Like, I, like it, it'd be crazy, man, because I'd be throwing out all type of names. Like, I I have a different hit list every day. Some days I will wake up and be like, man, I need. Every nigga that's supposed to be a, a street rapper, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, <laughs> everybody, whoever the, the, whoever the fans feel like is, is a street rapper, I gotta get in the ring with them, man, and, and test it out one time. So that's the snake eyes, this, the shotgun shoes, the cows, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, just all those type of dudes, man, I love to get in the ring with them and have a war of words with them. You did what I'm saying? Like, I'm a fan of what them dudes do. You feel me? But as far as if I say the upcoming class, like the classes with me, like the dudes that that's that's the yeah. name for themselves, uh, I wouldn't mind. Like I say, Snake Eyes. I definitely wouldn't mind getting in the ring with Twerk. You mm -hmm. did what I'm saying. I definitely wouldn't mind getting in the ring with like uh any of uh, the riders. I definitely wouldn't mind getting in the ring with him. Uh, Jerry West is fire. You know what I'm saying? I think I think a lot of those matchups could could be dope. You know what I'm saying? If they put it together, so. Any of these dudes in the, in the class coming up with me, man, or in the class before me, man, step in that ring, man, getting there with me, man. I'm gonna go on and smoke your boots. You feel me? One good time. <laughs> <laughs> get you, get you, get you, get you niggas out the way, get you niggas right, man. And y'all going about your career, you know what I'm saying? Just go on and, you know, let me go on and clean some niggas up, man. But any, anybody else, though, man, like I love to get in there with niggas like, uh, I know he, I know he been choking and struggling, man, but. 
like chess, man. I think chess is dope, man. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Uh, I think Young Cannon is fire. You know what I'm saying? So it's like anybody, man, that, that I that I feel like is fire, man. Like I got a lot of respect for niggas that that go out there and put that work in, man. So any of them dudes, man, set it up, and I'm with it. Man. Okay, mm. okay, that's definitely fire, Geechee. And and I think uh, you know when it when it comes to what you're doing, I I think we could all agree here. Uh, there there was instant appeal. You know what I mean? Like star power, yeah. things like that. So I think the potential is definitely there. And I just want to ask you and everything, man, before, you know, we, we, we get it get it going and everything. I, I, I just, I really want to get into what is the ultimate goal for Geechee Gotti? Is it music? Is it outside of music? Is it filling up these big arenas? Like, what where do you see yourself with this battle rap thing? Yeah, my ultimate goal, man, uh, is to be the champion of the year, get that belt, get them bands, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, right, right, right. Champion Let's... of the year. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my ultimate goal, all jokes aside, man, to be honest, man, it probably, I don't, it, uh, music for sure, man, is like my first love, man. Like, I ain't know this, the battling and people that's doing it, but, but hey, that's all they do. They don't rap to beats or nothing, man, that's dope, but... Like, you know, like I, I'm fire on the beat, man. You know what I'm saying? You can you can check check me out on the music, man. Like I, I'm I'm gonna rap, I'm gonna rap a nigga in a coma, you know what I'm saying? So like mm-hmm. definitely, man, like my ultimate goal is just to make noise in this whole hip hop culture. So I wanna be a nigga that's on top of his game and battle rap on top of his game and music on top of his game with the merchandise. Like I'm selling hair, man. I got we got a shop at Carson. Like I'm just trying mm-hmm. to like be out here booming like you know what i mean all the way around and just and just inspire the youth man dudes who come from any type of hardships any type of struggle man to just show that it's, a, it's it's ways to do other shit man you know what i'm saying like it don't even necessarily got to be battle rap or rap you know that's always the way out you know what i'm saying for the majority of it that's all we know but if you can just put your mind on something and just stick with it man come up with a dope clothing line or, you know what i'm saying like go to school and be a doctor or something you know what i mean whatever you want to put your mind to man go on and do that so my ultimate goal is just to be able to put a face behind the movement is just like, man, we want to see all these young black brothers, man, go ahead and start doing something more positive with themselves, man. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? When people see somebody they can relate to talking mm-hmm. something positive, I think it makes them be positive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all That's all it really is for me at the end of the day. Because when you when when you when you a little dude coming up and you seeing all the gangsters and the dope boys doing their thing, you want to be like them. But when they telling you, Hey man, go to school and all that. You feel more confident, like, hey man, the big homie, the big. You know what I'm saying? They talking about go to school. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's kind. That's kind of what my ultimate goal is, man. Like I say, just to be the face behind a positive movement, man. Turn a negative into a positive. So you know, if I, gotta, if I gotta, you know what I mean? If I gotta get to the top of the battle rap and top of the music in order to have enough voice to do that, then that's how hard I'm gonna go till I get there. You know? The the crazy thing about your come up is I didn't even. I didn't see you on Battle Rap first. I seen the, the documentary, the, the Street Games documentary. 100. Yeah, so I was like, when I found out you battle, I'm like, wait, this nigga battle? I ain't no battle <laughs> rapper, man. When I seen the documentary, I'm like, this nigga can he can't eat no battle. Yeah, and facts. So, facts. so your come up is a little different than everybody else. You already you came in the game with a million views already. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 that, and that's really where a lot of people did see me uh, too, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out Alex. Some lines on street gangs and then for that interview, free my boy Bezos, who was on that interview with me. You know what I'm saying? My right hand man, he's still in there. You feel mm-hmm. me? But like, yeah, man, like a lot of people seen that. And if they did see it, I got a few of them, but the one that got so many views was me talking positive and giving some some positive, you know what I mean, words within that interview. You know what I mean? So I, yeah, I, I, I learned from that point right there, don't I? You know what I'm saying? Depend even though a lot of time. We we thrive off negativity, man. These these people want to hear something positive coming from where they thought might have been a negative place. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. when, you first, when you first click on it, you hear it say, "Oh, Bay Low can hack three, giving a tour to Granny." So you thinking you finna see a nigga walking around pointing out choppers and dope yeah, spots, exactly. and then you feel me? Then a nigga telling like kids don't bang, it ain't worth it, it ain't gonna get you nowhere but jail or death. You dig what I'm saying? Which is the same shit I be saying most of the times in my third rounds or whatever round I say some real shit and I damn near always tell a nigga those is the options. You feel me? When you're doing anything. And that's not even with game banging. I just been in the street. Mm-hmm. You sell dope long enough, your your option is jail or death. You dig what I'm saying? Like it's it just how it go. Everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? Too much anything ain't no good. So, like you feel me? That's that's basically man what it is, man. I'm glad niggas know me from street games, uh, music, battle rap, whatever they know me for, man. I'm just glad to have that type of support, man. For real, right, mm-hmm. right. And and you know what? And it's definitely good to 
Because, like, you saying that, it holds so much more weight than a lot of people saying. You know what I mean? Because you done been yeah. through a yeah. lot of the stuff that especially some of these young kids is going through. So, Real man, I, I, I salute you for that and, and, and turning that message into – into something that that people can really relate to, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That, that's why I, I just feel like it's a little bit more to Gotti than than just battling. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, I get yeah, I get a little yeah. bit more from from you in the battles yeah, and all that. Yeah, bro. yeah, that, that's that's definitely what it is, man. You know, I ain't gonna tell somebody something that I don't feel is right. You know what I'm saying? I done been locked up before. I don't like the way it feel to have somebody telling me what to do to be in the cell with somebody. He farting and stinking, and I'm farting and stinking, and we having attitudes and all. Listen, you away from your people, can't even talk to them. And everybody mm-hmm. got somebody. I got homies that that's in there that's fighting to get out. They they probably didn't even do the crime, but they stuck and in there for 20, 15, 30 years. And these dudes were 19 when they left. You know what I'm saying? I done been shot. You know what I'm saying? I still got a bullet in me right now type shit. You know what I'm saying? And nigga, you know, just like any average nigga. Nigga be too busy to go to the hospital just to get it took out. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't, you feel me, weird old shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real shit that going yeah. on every every day. You know what I'm saying? To where it's like, man, like, you know what I mean? This shit is real life. So anytime I can say something that's going to deter that, man, that's definitely what I want, man. You know what I mean? Because I don't nobody want to see it. I lost my closest homeboy. When I was in high school, he got killed. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, anybody, anything after that, man, it always, like, shifted me to be like, damn, nigga, this shit real. It could have been me. You know what I'm saying? That's my homeboy that I grew up with since a baby. And he died. I'm 16. Like, damn, you feel me? That's when you know it's real. You still got to go to school the next day. Yeah. Your, boy, your boy did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, nah, man, like, we don't want that type of shit to keep going on, man. You know, so... Hopefully people listen to this interview, man, and, and you know what I'm saying? And definitely, man, they they uh they learn a little bit more about me and what I, you know what I mean, what I'm doing and what I'm trying to bring to the game, man, and, and become more of a fan. I don't even like to call them fans. Like I say, supporters, man, because if you rocking with it, man, you supporting, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't no superstar to be having no fans. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got supporters. So, mm-hmm. man, if you supporting the nigga movement, man, I definitely, man, salute it, man. I appreciate it. It's humble. You know what I mean? For y'all brothers to give me this platform to just talk for a minute, man, I, I appreciate it. I've been trying to, you know, I know a lot of people have been hitting me up. I've been sticking and moving, man. My phone be like, you see, it be going crazy all day. Yeah, for, man. For, no, for, no, for, no re- for no reason. So they could be missing out on shit. But definitely, man, glad I was able to come on here and talk some shit with y'all, man, for real. That's Word, a fact, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. And I, and I was able to uh, come back now to seeing that champion of the year. You was trying to make sure I wasn't in that top 10. Hey, man. hey. Yeah. <laughs> he was about oh, to call God, me God, out. God, I knew it was coming. Yeah. I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. Listen, listen, man. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Yeah. listen. I'm like, I'm like, get you <laughs> fire. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just didn't, don't I like didn't the... think he deserved a top 10 either. Like, we was all talking about, I didn't think he was Yeah, we, we was, yeah. Because it was a tough I, year. Hey, it was a competitive year. You know what I'm hey, saying? No, so look, it was. Look, it was. But look, I know on a big platform stage, like, people probably look at it like that, right? But see, yeah. if they look at it, and this ain't no book, because I probably didn't deserve it, but I feel like I did. But it, it's a lot of battlers that probably could have been higher than me, man. So salute for even making it there. I appreciate it. But oh, yeah. If a nigga look at it like from, yeah. Saint, they gonna look at it like Saint, Danny Myers, Stewie Newton, Blue Easy, and Ab. But then in the midst of all that, I still battle Link. I battle Mad Flex. I battle mm-hmm. Trey Vicious. You dig what I'm saying? I battle Reverse Live. I battle all type of. I battle had like ten battles. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at all of them, I came a hundred percent. Even on them small leagues, I'm smoking niggas and, and dropping fire content, you know what I'm saying? Right. Sword, right. you feel, I'm still going, so I'm like, yeah. man, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes in this battle shit, niggas only look at those big platforms, but if a nigga go back and look, and I'm doing numbers, like 20,000 views on little fucking platforms that got like 500 subscribers and shit, you know what I mean? Like, or not no subscribers, you feel me? Because I was working, man. So right. I'm like, I'm looking at, I'm taking it personal. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> and it's crazy too, because I'm like, I'm like, I met him and shit. I'm like, I know it's gonna come up, but but nah. Yeah, the the thing was is that between the breakout stars, I think, I think Loso, you, you know, what I'm saying, uh, yeah. uh, uh, A Ward, like y'all, yes. y'all yeah. really broke onto the scene. It B dot, like y'all broke onto the scene this year, and your your run. You know what I mean? Twerk, yeah, right? Like yeah, people who made yeah. it to the stage this year is just an incredible fucking year, wow. in my opinion. That's why 2017 was a great year. So real shit, man. I'm definitely hopefully I can I can I can turn it up some more this year, man. And you know, I'm just talking my shit, man. I think oh, yeah, old red deserves it. I probably would have gave it to Tay Rock. Don't know this to old red. I might have to battle him or something. 
I might have would have gave it to Rock, man. I, I mm. think Rock, man. I don't know, man. That mm -hmm. was tough. Man. I, y'all had a tough decision because y'all it, it, it wasn't no wrong answer to me though. Either way, both them brothers deserved it, man. You know what I'm saying? My vote probably would have went Rock, but I could see why. I once y'all broke it down, why y'all gave it to Red. So salute to him too, man. Right. That, that was a big accomplishment, man. He had a hell of a year. Facts, facts. So, so, so this year we we definitely want to see you uh, in the in the in the group and in the running and all that. And Geechee, yeah. before before you head out, man, I I, I want to make sure all the people know where to go to follow you, uh, music yeah. that you got out, any projects yeah. that you know you want the folks to listen to, because I I know you definitely listen. You you got yeah. some dope music out here. So well, let the definitely. people know what time it is. Yeah, man. If you on Instagram, man, you can follow me on Geechee underscore Gotti. Us on Instagram. That's my official page. You know what I'm saying? You know it's me because I ain't got that many followers, man. I'm regular, so go ahead and click it. My page public or something. You can just find me, see pictures. Uh, Twitter, same thing. Geechee Gotti without the underscore. It'll just straight Geechee Gotti. If you're on YouTube, I got a, excuse me, I got a YouTube channel, Mafia Bang Boy TV. Or just type mm -hmm. in Geechee Gotti on YouTube, man, and my music will pop up just like my battles will pop up. You know what I'm saying? I've got uh, new music always coming out. I got a tape that's still on iTunes. So if you go on, look look for me on Apple Music with Geechee Gotti. I'm sure it's some type of content you can find it. No Studio in 3, man, it's coming soon. I got an album coming out called No Studio in 3. That's the next shit I'm finna drop. Hopefully I can have it drop within this next month, man. So okay. yeah, y'all just be on the lookout, man. Salute, man. I appreciate y'all. That's a fact, man. Yeah. Stay safe, man. Stay free. We need you most, here, man. Most definitely. Right. That's a fact. Okay, you know we got love for you. Yeah, stay man. free, stay safe, man. We, we always, man. We rooting free. for you up here, man. And when that drop, man, we gonna make sure we we spread the word and all that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got we it. gotta get you back up here too, man. man. Talk about it, yeah, man. That's, That's a fact. And uh, and and you know what? And we got since we got the society thing going, man. Whenever you want to jump in here, chop it up, man. The, you know, the the, yeah. the listeners, the, the supporters that here is is real cool. It's a real dope vibe. So appreciate you yeah. uh you rocking with us though. Oh, I got you, man. I'm I'm gone, man. Y'all have a good one. All right, All right now. Salute. All right, that's that's Geechee Gotti right there, man. Homecoming, homecoming interview on Black Compass. God damn it. You know what I mean? Nah, that was that was a that was a dope one, man. That was one of our more insightful uh joints. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. It, that was a good one. It, it, it's just it I mean, the man sat he said when you when you get you, you got a bullet in you and you too busy to get it taken out. It's just like he not even trying and it's just like I heard if I heard some shit like that in the battle, I, I'm going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it, it, but it's not forced though, you know what I mean? So uh and I like the yeah. fact that he not he he acknowledged that, you know, it's a certain lifestyle and you're trying to move yeah. out of that. You know what I mean? And that shit resonates with people when you hear that. You know what I mean? Uh, so, man, salute, yeah. salute to Gotti, bro. I, yeah, you know, we. I, I hope to see he become one of them guys in this shit, man. He he literally like a a true representation of our city. So, if he can make it, that's gonna that's gonna make a lot of these guys around here. That's gonna get them some uh, motivation. So, hopefully, Gotti do his thing, man. Yeah. Hopefully, stay out of trouble, stay safe. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, and and that's um. And that's dope, man. Yeah, but definitely follow Gotti. Uh, Gotti's definitely uh, one of the more responsive battlers on Twitter and all that. So uh, it was it was dope getting him up here and all that. So he he, he gave some good insight. Um, wow, where do we go from there? Uh, there yeah. was there was an announcement. Um, and, and, and again, yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let's get to the fuck let thing, let's man. get let's get to the <laughs> announcement. Uh, let's and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. do this real quick, just a real quick commercial, man. Shout out to everybody in the live. Follow us at Black Compass Media. Uh, hit me up at Tone Capo. Hit Drizzy up at <laughs> I am Drizzy. Uh, double underscore and and yeah yeah we we out here, man. Hashtag in the field and hit up the Patreon too for extended content. Dope ass yeah. barbershop session in there too, by the way. Um and, and yeah, latest episode is in there as well. So without further ado, I want to break this down because because at this point, Mike P. Yeah, let me tell you something, Mike P. I got Mike so P. much. I I have a lot of money. I have like three different bets in this battle. So YK yeah. and Mike P has been announced for Volume Two. I, I want to get I want to get reactions on that announcement. Uh, it's placed yeah. in this card, and 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 what y'all, what are what are the thoughts here, right now? Um, now you know I'm connected with the goons and goblins, right? You know I got a lot of pull with the goons and goblins, so of course I knew this match, right? Um, 
at first when the goons and goblins told me about this match, it did. It, I was like, why is this on here? But I, I kind of get it. They they kind of been building this for about six months, right? This, yeah. This match. Yeah. Super grudge. So, yeah, it, it fits. It fits. Um, I think. Are we doing like the predictions? Or are we just talking about? I mean, we, 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 we let's, let's talk about it first. You know how this fits um, into the whole framework of things, yeah, and, and you know how, how you feel about it, Drizzy. Like, how does it how does it fit um, on the court? I mean, I'm, I'm glad this battle happened. Uh, I mean, I, yeah. I like this battle. Um, I think it fit in. It's, it, I think it's gonna be a good battle. Both of them come with it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, Mike Police don't really win battles, but he come with it every battle. You know what I'm saying? He 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 come with some shit every battle. Um, but I am taking all donations. To my PayPal, to anybody that <laughs> want to put money on Mike Police. If you think Mike Police is gonna beat Young Cannon, I will send you my PayPal. I'm taking all your donations, yeah. Tony Bro included. Yeah, I got Young Cannon. With, you got YK with, with, with a win, man. I got I got YK with a win, but I think it's gonna be a good battle, man. So so, so be a good for the low for the uh, donation, man. I have, appreciate I, that. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. Shout out to my man for the for the donation and all that, man. Heavy for the low. Um. You know what? I have hit my saturation point on betting on this battle. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I, I think I already got one in the works with you, Driz, and uh, I got a, I got a couple more going. Um, I got, you know what? This before we even get to predictions, I'm gonna say this. Now, I I did see a little bit of moans and groans about this battle being on the card. Now, I know it's a cool yeah. thing to do just to complain about whatever URL does. I mean, I, that's cool, but yeah. I I like it. I like the look for YK. He deserves this type of platform, this type of stage. Uh, I think you you looking for if you Mike P, you looking for redemption. Um, you know what I mean, and, and you, you want to show the, show what you could do. And Mike P always gives you a good battle. And this is a grudge match, an actual real life grudge match, not forced. None of that yeah. shit. They actually, you know, they, it, it's some history there. So I think it fits in good, especially you got Hollow and Arsenal. You know what I mean, like. Yeah. I like I like the grudges in the small room, man. Yeah, I, I like how this shit fit, but uh, I'm going Mike P, man. I'm going Mike You're P. Going I Mike just P? yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And as I keep, I think, yeah, go, go ahead, go uh, ahead. Me, it, 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 I'm, I'm 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 one of the most racist guys in Battle Red Media. Clearly, I oh yeah, man. yeah, without a doubt. I mean, it's not even like I, yeah, I don't even like white people, but sure. I'm gonna go with oh, Mike come P. Come on, Posey. I'm Posey, gonna go with Mike P. On. He's I'm gonna go with right. Michael Police for this. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, yeah. Try something different. I'm gonna go with Mike P. Uh, so um, you guys, all right. I'm yeah. gonna just try this, Jersey. I, I really don't got him in real life, but mm-hmm. for this, I got him. <laughs> 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 I got Mike Police. Yeah. I don't got him. I don't got Let's him in real got. life. Let's see what he got, man. Yeah. Um. But, I mean, you know, and I do see, I see what the contention is that he lost yeah. last smack, and you know, yeah. I see y'all, uh, uh, you know, YK, this and that, never loses. I, I get, I get it. I, I mm-hmm. trust me, you I understand. Better get it. Yeah. I just think that well, YK, his YK style, right? That style mm-hmm. that he has, and I don't, I don't know, I don't believe it. I don't. I don't believe it's. Uh, it's gonna. That, I, I that think. I think it's a little smoke style. and mirror. Yeah, it's gonna be 150 police flips, 187 on the police, not running from the police. Uh, the like whatever police flips you got, you could drop them in the chat. YK is probably gonna say them. Yeah, he's probably gonna. Say but it. his delivery is so sharp that it's gonna probably hit for a lot of y'all. But I think Mike P kind of he overthink a lot of his battles too. He might go into this and overthink it. And, and... I hope and not. take a loss. That's what he usually does. So hopefully he don't. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, does he have the potential to out rap YK? Can he because that, that's what that's what I'm banking on him doing to win this battle. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I feel like he, he's gonna go to out rap lane. I don't I don't think uh and I think YK for as great as he is, one YK battle, you've seen them all. Am I lying here? Are we, oh, are we... come on, Tony. What? I agree with that. Can, we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can... it's 150 <laughs> name flips. Uh, I it, agree. It's, you know, it's one paced high intent. Look, I'm not saying that YK isn't talented and doesn't bring it every time because he does. He is Send fired. me your money, man. I I, whatever, man. Send me your money. <laughs> all right. Drizzy <laughs> can't. Drizzy, Drizzy like, yo. Money. All this, you I don't sound know. like the same. Yeah, yeah. Send me, send me your money. <laughs> they ain't telling that YK don't be losing. Like, it's don't, like, like, listen, man, listen. I went 
Fettuccine twenty shout out to him. I don't I don't know. I, I've seen I've seen it happen before. Didn't he but didn't he get beat in some car that did, did, didn't come out yet? Or like uh like somebody I heard K Sean kind of heard K Sean kind of did you filthy walk K. Yeah, that's what yeah, they said that. too. Mike police don't be losing, man. Like I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, he do be losing. My bad. He be losing a lot. <laughs> Starburst rap is undefeated. Uh, YK don't be losing. Yeah, <laughs> YK don't be losing. Okay, he lost the Kayshawn Starburst rap, but Starburst raps beat beat ninety eight percent of the world. Starburst you know rap could beat Lux. And, like I'm dead serious. Like that Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> like, that Starburst. Starburst, Starburst yeah. raps. That it's shit contagious, is great. man. It's contagious. Yeah. Yeah, they said he got his pulled though. Like the the yeah the uh the double agents that that went to the joint said that he got a look. Um, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 I I think I think if Mike P if Mike P shows up the way he showed up against Daylight, even the way that he showed up against Tink, I think that yeah he was YK has some problems on his hands because Mike P can vary the style. And and his delivery, I think Mike P has probably one of the better deliveries. To be honest with you, it you know what I mean I Mike P the the middle class. What's your life like? We not doing that. No mind. But uh, I'm not. Right, but y'all, yeah, like, don't do right, that. Like, don't ever do that again, man. Do Mike P even be saying that with the? You wouldn't take Mike Mike the white height like the white height like, the, the white height the, 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 the guy on, fire. Nothing. What you talking about? No, the the cadence, the cadence in the tempo is man. Fire. He, he said, "You don't like, like Mike a white light, were light headed." What that dude was talking uh, to I mean, daylight in that scene. That was fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was, was going was crazy. Was <laughs> Yo, he said, "I leave, he leave your skull air like you light headed." <laughs> right. He said, "I." He said, oh, I, said, he said, I, said I, "I was swiped at it." What? I'm being a hypocrite now because I hate daylight. Go watch Daylight versus Michael Police. Daylight really 30 that nigga bad. <laughs> bad. Uh, bad. I hate that battle. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate that, that battle. battle I, 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 fire, I watched it the other day. You know them random nights where you watch them bar heavy battles like yeah. you don't really be watching and you watch it? Yeah. They like really 30. Maybe because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. They like really 30. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they like be uh, man, he's rapping about cobra snakes and uh, what? I like I like all of that. And a kind of guy I am like, oh my god, like that what? Like this shit was fire. <laughs> like so so uh so no, I like I like the matchup. I, who has more pressure on them? Let's just do the pressure angle. Um, I'm gonna go Cannon. Oh yeah, Cannon, Cannon definitely. Cannon. Can you got to win? So, like, like, all right, Mike Police been losing, and he's still gonna get pushed. He's dope because he's dope. You know what I'm saying? He has moments. He doesn't have to win the battle. It, it, that's been made clear. Cannon, <laughs> you gotta, you still gotta win your battle, so you could be out of here real quick. You just how got, how is that possible you, that the man never just, loses and he he got wait, so wait, much me, pressure wait, on him? Let me ask you this, dude. Is, is Mike P bigger than Mike K? To the comment, my my father. I know y'all gonna get mad. But I really don't want to answer that. Might be a bigger baller than YK. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tom, I'm come sorry. On, son. <laughs> what? What do you want? To kill me? I don't care. I don't. <laughs> whatever. Because uh, wait, when you what do you mean he's big? Like, is he like? Down for is me, it, man. Uh, I don't mean to see big. I mean like, is don't be pissing me off. Like, as far as like <laughs> visibility, like. Do people out of a crowd recognize Michael Police more than like say if it's a crowd of like battle rap fans? I don't know about that. Right, y'all know what I mean. Is Mike P bigger than YK? Man? Mike I, I P can't. has YK has been around for about almost a decade, and huh, why and Mike P shout out math yeah higher profile that's what I'm trying to shout yeah out yeah Mike P profile. has more quotables in his short yeah. time in battle rap than YK in his entire career. Done, and we all know. And, and the problem is, we all know that YK is fire, but nobody can quote. Shit. We have several moments from, from Mike P. P that have moved, right, that have right. moved rooms before. Right. I'll keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. If a YK link and a Mike P link both pop up, more people are gonna go watch the Mike P link first, probably. It's 100%. That's probably. a fact. But that. that He's not better though, son. He's not better. <laughs> I just, whatever, whatever, whatever. Chicago, uh, young Cannon, Cannon, man, you got like 
You got to rep the city on this, man. You can't lose to him. You know where we from. You can't lose to somebody in a rap battle. Like, you can't lose yeah, to you, somebody. You can't lose. Yeah. yeah. Cannon can't lose this. Shout out this to Cannon first time being a part of something this powerful. Like, yeah. Like, like you've been here for 10 years and you had to be a surprise battle versus a rookie. Like, you, come on, you better not lose this goddamn battle. Man. So, so yeah. uh, apparently, apparently the, uh, the live, the, 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 uh, the live audience is saying that I'm smoking dust, which, you know, I, I'm cool with that, but I need a whole list of these YK quotables and room shakers. I, I just do. Cause yeah, to me, too. he's, he's uh butt mash city with, you know, and he's dope. Don't get me wrong. He is. Completely ruined the dreams of up and coming rappers. What is his signature moment in battle rap? Like, I don't know. I, it, crushing dreams. Like, he is destroyed. He is absolutely destroyed. No name dudes. But what is his signature bar? Like, what bar do niggas like? I could, when I think of Mike P, I think of the Street Fighter shit. When I think of they, like, everybody has something you think of. Like, what would niggas bar do niggas think of? Oh, man. I so that's what this has come to. I don't know. I that's don't, what this has come to, they, but but I mean that's been the that's been the hallmark of his uh, of his tenure out here. There, there's no discernible thing that you could assign to YK except that he's a very very good, fluid, complete battler. Like just he can, he's very good lyrically. He you know what I mean I've never seen a I've never seen a, a crazy. I don't know he's had some, he has some good breakdowns. I can't I can't front him with that. He has absolutely killed people. But there's no signature. What what's what's the signature? And, and I'm looking through the chat. Like these niggas, the chat don't. They just saying he consistent. What Aww. signature moment? <laughs> oh, pose. I'm gonna keep asking y'all this. What <laughs> signature bar do we have in this culture? Yeah, I I I don't know. I I don't know. I what we get? Is there? A, so you really think there? Is, like, do you have the Vegeta? Like, I I don't know. Do you, Mike P? We we we've seen it. In his if short I say tenure, surf, Tony Bro, if I go surf, what do yeah. you think? What bar you, you first thing you I hear think, when I touch down is the Midwest moving. Come on, you bro. Think of, uh, press not like when you hit man. You come John, on, even John, John. Come on, come oh, on. Y'all killing. What are the? I mean, and these are and these saying, are his cohorts. You know what's making me mad. What's making me mad is I really can't think of nothing. I'm really and I'm not even trying. saying give me bars because <laughs> we can record bars. I'm saying give me his signature moment, not give me one bar. Yeah. Like, yo, no, I mean, not, not give me, like, yo, these are the bars he got. We know that, but, like, when you see YK, like, what bar do you think about that he really, like, 360 on it with? Right. Well, I think it's Southside. Like, uh, wow, well, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's angle, man. They, they he is the PG killer. Angle. He is the first PG killer, but he that's not, I guess that's what he known niggas. for. He be killing them. Because let me, let me tell you something about YK. Like, when I said, why, like, YK be really cleaning these up like like ah and it's yo shout out to mathematic clothing and all that he's given us a whole list of one seed uh and shout out to the march madness idea we got the bracket coming very soon it's coming soon yeah. march madness joint yeah so so he's given us the the a bunch of the uh the hashtags on the on the lions and goods nine chain randy seatbelt tay rock starbush case you know what i mean like this is this is dope. So, so that that is coming very, very soon. But man, I'm still calling. I'm looking this through the culture, and the culture is they not coming up with nothing. Throw but, Jack on the table, but they're upset the at table. us. I, I don't know why you can't be upset at us, and you can't come up with the, anything. I don't, I don't know. Yikes. Uh. Yk, listen, man, we love you, man. We've been supporting you for about a decade now. Yeah, do something at this event. Yeah, make something happen, man. You got a new beard. <laughs> Dude, so like, I see you trying to you trying to put on a new look beard. Mm -hmm. Make some happen, man. Make your signature moment at this event, man. You know we you know we mess with you, IK Southside. Yeah, she don't got you. You haven't did nothing powerful yet. Yeah, a signature. We can play this at the beginning of a trailer situation. Yeah, I, I just saying, just saying. Uh, maybe his style doesn't. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't know. But see, that's why. That's why when you have that sort of thing going, you're susceptible to being yeah. hit with moments, right? So, but the only thing, the thing that's working in YK's favor is that this is a small yeah. room, right? So even if Mike P has some ridiculous moment, it's not like the crowd is going to just, you know what I mean? Like, like just yeah. go crazy with it, right? 
That's a fact. But that is a fact. Man, wow. I I don't know. I don't, it's gonna be a good one though. I I know Mike. I mean, I know YK probably will pull off the win, but I got faith in Mike Police, man. I think he get it done. He did create ten four stolen rhyme. He did do that. That is a fact. Oh, that what that was. He I did. Yo, yo, comment because y'all got one. Yeah, y'all got one. I, I yeah. apologize. YK now, created. He coined ten four stolen rhyme. He did do that. He, he wow. did that. And and that, that and that is uh yeah. I, I'm, I forgot. My I'm bad, y'all. My bad. I'm with it. I'm gonna give you that. That's dope. Yeah. No, it's very dope. It's very dope. Um, that is a coin. That is a phrase that everybody uses in this culture. So what? Ten four. Ten four stolen rhyme. That's that's Mike. That's a YK. That's YK. See, that's his, and we ain't even know it. So it's like it, it, it that, really is. You know what? See, <laughs> Tris, yo, <laughs> I don't do yo, yo. <laughs> one of the most recognizable like. Uh, uh, Additions to battle rap lexicon is attributed to you, and no one attributes it to you, and unless you're a hardcore fan. Yikes! All right, Pete, yo, battle rap rankings, bro. Y'all sleep? Okay, we'll take all these insults, but you got to answer these got questions, bro. You yeah, have I to answer for it. You got to. Because you gave me, you, you guys give me one thing. I, I got several for Mike P. Even in battles that he lost, whatever. Um, the Street Fighter joint went viral, right? right? Yes, and rightfully so. That shit was out of control. I'm not gonna hold you. That shit was fire. That shit was fire in the building. But yo, so so that battle's that battle's coming out. Uh I think okay. I think there's been a uh a bit of a price increase, right? We've hit the increase era. Like oh, it went the, up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We still hit the uh hit the twenty hit, 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 what is it sixty now? Is it a sixty dollar uh situation here? Yeah. yeah I thought uh but that was, yeah. They said the It'll price is going to increase. Hey. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they trying to pay um, the bills at that uh, that new shoe shop. Like I, I see what niggas doing. <laughs> yeah, Smack, we see you. They just trying to pay that bill, man. He trying to get, he trying to get the, he trying to get the Yeezys covered and shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Markup like a motherfucker. Um. So, so yeah, and people and people keep naming Mike P moments. This is sad. All right, so I did see a couple things out in the air. I seen a couple diss tracks. Uh, I seen I seen J four hundred with the you know with the set tripping joint shooting yeah. at everybody, um, and I've seen response to that. I'm liking that. <laughs> I like all of that. Now it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be super crazy fire, but make one. PC had a response. It was cool. Uh, and, and then Ryder had an interview. Uh, hat off Ryder, which you know that that's different. Um, oh yeah, so, this hat off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This that's is uh, hatless Ryder. He was. He was basically, he was like, Jay, you can't he whisper at, at him. You can't whisper at me on the track, bro. Like, it was wild. Like, he was super downplaying Jay. Like, that was crazy. So then I go into the culture. I say, hey, Jay versus Ryder. Now, uh, according mm-hmm. to my Twitter and the 200 plus people, you know, 300 plus people that, that answered, uh, yeah. Ryder would clean up Jay. Like, like without, like, to nigga. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I think it was like fifty something. Yeah, clear clearly. I was a, I was a, I was a part of that cleanup crew. Clean cleanup crew. Yeah, man, cleanup crew on out nine, man. Jesus. Sorry, Jay. I like Jay too, but I don't think he he can. You know, Jay try. punching back to back for I thought y'all loved it. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with, I fuck with huh. that style. But what? Okay, so I do Boy, think y'all talk about button mashing and name flip. Like, ah, right, yeah, I see what y'all. I love that, man. And yo, I fuck with Jay, but he uh when he battled Rosenberg, he did kind of piss me off calling him Ro. Like he just Ro. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bad Ro and then yeah, Ro. Right. Yeah. I remember right. that battle. But he 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 uh killed Dougie. Um that was a situation. But I think I think some of these guys might be susceptible to the believability sliders. I'm telling you. Uh, a fact. What you, uh, Jay, you gotta, you gotta if, break that now. My only, my only concern, if if with Ryder, if Ryder battles Jay, he is going. Uh-huh. You think that uh, uh, Swave and them had a field day calling him a pussy? Jay is going to go crazy with that angle. Like the street, y- y'all call yourself the Goonies, and he don't like none of that. Shit. Like yeah, Jay, Jay hate that. Shit. He's gonna go crazy with that, and that, and I mean, say what you want about Jay, I mean. Believability sliders is is off the charts. Like, Facts. We not 
doing right. that. So the people want to see this match or just something that just was thrown out I mean, out it was out in the air. Now, I, I usually what I, I – energy like this, <clears> I just like to see it. I like to see the build up, see what it turns into. And, and sometimes as fans, we get a little bit – um. I, I know we get into our old thing when we make the matchups, but – let them beefs happen, man. Let them beefs happen and support that shit. If they talking shit the right way, yeah, you start to eventually you you start to see it. You know what I mean? Like so, support that. Yeah, this, I, I want to know. All here for the diss tracks. I want to know what's going on with the fans. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been noticing <clears throat> since this 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 it's like we entering a new era. We entering the uh, okay. The fans let it the change the narrative era. Mm. Like with, with, with the pay per view. So oh boy. The pay per view was to come out. So the pay per view battle, you know what I'm saying? The battle happened. It's on pay per view. Okay. JC 30 Rum Nitty. Mm-hmm. J- Rum Nitty got cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Then when the battle comes to YouTube, it's like, oh no, Rum Nitty won. T Top 30 JC. Yeah. Oh no, I think uh, JC might have edged that 2 1. What's what, like. Uh, now like, let's. But for Let's months, but the... for months, like the 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 other battler is being paraded as if he kind of like cleaned up the other guy, the but other not guy. a narrative is changing. So what what are we doing? What is this? That is a fact. Now first, let's dig into the. Let's kind of go into the origin of this. <laughs> it starts with a with a guy named Conceited, who's who's trashed by the way. But it starts. With <laughs> we not. Um, Come on, man. Let's. All right. I remember, and I'm a veteran fan. I remember there was. Remember the polls came out. It was Goods versus Conceited. Yes. And URL put a poll. Out. Every first of all, everybody said goods 30 con. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Battle comes out, URL puts a poll up. Khan is doing these interviews on Cam. <laughs> I 30 uh goods. The polls come out. The poll is 80% to 20 in favor of conceded. Yes. It hold the whole thing changed, the whole narrative. Now let's talk about this young man named Julian Carter. Uh oh. He never loses to niggas to these comment. Like, <laughs> when has Julian Carter lost? Like, he literally win all his battles to the commenters. You know about so that. This, I think it just be. I don't know. I think it just we bored. We just want to create. I don't. I don't get it. I really don't be getting it, man. Um, there's a there is a demographic of online fan that cares a lot yeah. more about lyrics than say your casual fan or your in the building fan. I I I I think that that's where it comes from because when yeah. it drops, there's more focus on lyrics or whatever. Yeah. And, and some of y'all claim not to be scorecard people in your head. In your head, y'all scorecard people. Yeah. Y'all just don't. Y'all just ain't writing down numbers. So yeah. Bar after bar mm-hmm. after bar. I mean, you you're adding up bars and seeing literally who who had the most punches. Oh, speaking of punches, oh, oh, shout out to Wilder. Oh, Ortiz. All right, we we get to that later. But but um, yo, y'all y'all are literally counting up punches in your head, and yeah. and now and then you come out and you say, yo, JC won that lyrically. Uh, I think yeah. it's partially that, and I think uh, they feel the need to take up for lyricists in this shit. Which I, I but can't, why like yeah. yeah I know that and it's it always been like a I get I kind of get I'm getting tired of that debate like it's not all about lyrics I'm, t- I'm I've been doing that debate for damn near a decade it seems like I'm mm-hmm. tired of that debate but it's like y'all gotta stop doing this shit. like bro he lost the battle the nigga like, it's really, <laughs> like, I'm really mad only at JC I know it's I know I know that it's a, it goes to other people but JC's fans be the main guys doing this like he'll literally be yeah. barked on and still win. 30 and nigga like uh, that was a 30 and then it'd be predominant in the comp jay-z is the most popular battler in the world man i swear to god man yeah he is in the he in the, the comment pop- world for sure i mean there's nobody he like him and pop- nitty have never and lost Danny. the battle for like it's just not but but some people though they edge it more toward lyrics and they're not impressed by the optics of somebody getting screamed on or you yeah. know getting dunked on by sugar i don't know me personally, certain shit, I just in a battle, like like I wonder how those same people felt when QP was on stage copping that plea against Sway because that Swave. that shit is still, I mean, it still makes my stomach hurt watching that shit, bro. Like I, I yeah, I'm, QP looked bad up there. He looked terrible, but in this era, that battle drops. I guarantee his people. Yeah, he might have looked crazy, but I mean, like ah, I, I I can't do that. I'm sorry, I, I just I can't. So. Um, I did that recently. This is what I did recently too. I went back to some of my 
some of them battles like B Magic versus uh Ill Will. Back in the day, who did y'all who did everybody have one? It was Ill Will 30. Yeah. Go back to that battle in the comments and push latest. It's B Magic 30. <laughs> mm. All the way down the thing. <laughs> Like, how did, when did this battle change the niggas? B Magic lost this battle. Like, I swear to go back to all them battles where it was like a bar nigga and a and a regular like a performance nigga that bodied the bar nigga. Go back to all them battles. It That's changed. It all getting changed. There's, but then there, there's there's two other things that I want to say. You have your anti crowd reaction people who automatically yeah. have the other nigga winning based on him not getting enough crowd. Y'all were asleep. Like you know that that crew. It's a lot of y'all that's like yeah. that online. Like, nah, he got more reaction. There's no way he won. Like that, yeah. y'all, I hate y'all. I hate y'all at events. I hate y'all at comments. If you see me at an event, you're that guy. Stay away from me because I yeah. would not enjoy. Like, I don't know. This is not fun with you. Uh, yeah. But then you also have the fact that uh, when the battle actually drops and the pay-per-view, you know, post-pay-per-view because – I mean, when you edit it, you get everything right. You got multiple camera angles and things like that. You can cut certain stuff out, bring other stuff in. It sort of changes it, right? Like it, it yeah, changes. A it's fact. a different experience. So, but I, I think I think with the perfection of pay per view, the hot take era is over. Like it's over. Like you can review the battle, but this hot take. Oh, I had so and so definitely winning. I I never was a fan of that because unless somebody got absolutely fucking destroyed, how can you even say? 3-0 or whatever. I always say I gotta yeah. watch it again anyway. So, you know, that hot take is whack. But the hot take is over. Yeah, it's over, man. Like it's just like it's like people. I mean, honestly, the MCs right now are way too good and way too lyrical and technical for you to have an immediate clear two one, unless yeah. somebody choked or unless whatever. But if it was a clean battle, no bullshit, like. It's very rare you're gonna get a definitive outcome. Come on now, like how? How'd you do that? Yeah, I, that's a fact. Like you know, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with like the because JC and like he do be kill, he do be beat, but it be those battles where it's like he clearly lost visually, where he clearly like lost, like he was defeated on cam. Those are the battles, like bro, he lost the battle. Like even he looks like he lost, and they niggas still be giving him the win. It's like damn. Yeah, yeah, and and. You know what? And I, what I kind of stopped doing too, like when I would uh, do my, my recap like that, right? I would yeah. wait until after the battle was done and just do like a brain dump of like, yo, this is what I remember. Or in between rounds where they doing a little mic shit and I'm just writing down like little words here and there. During the battle, I am watching the battle. Some people who do recaps are literally texting and writing bars as the damn thing is going. So I'm like, you missed the whole scheme because you was trying to transcribe what was going on. I, I feel like that era is dead too. So that that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh, one, one more little caveat. I know I sound a little aggy. You're not gonna tell me what to cheer for, bro. I don't give a fuck what you think. Um, what you mean? Yeah, I'm in the building. I pay my money. I, I I'm I'm in the building. I got I got two. You know, I got a cell phone charger, two batteries, just so I'm straight. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I've done everything that I needed to do, cleared my entire schedule out, got a good night's sleep the night before so I could be up for however many hours, you know, kicked it with fans, poly, you know, smoked, chilled out, whatever, whatever the case mm -hmm. might be. But I'm there at the event for hours, right? You are not yeah. going to tell me what the fuck to cheer for. I'm sorry. I Listen, I'm not one of them dudes that's just cheering at everything and ruining the battle, but bruh. Some of y'all yeah. that just be watching from the crib, I get it. Like that that's cool. I'm not knocking that. But you are yeah. not gonna tell me what to cheer for ever. I don't give a f like if dots say some shit that I think is funny and, and interest like whatever, I'm gonna laugh and, and be happy. I'm gonna have a good time. <laughs> You're not gonna prevent me from that. Yo, people will be so they be so <laughs> pissed off, like, why are these niggas cheering? Like, cause we there and it's fun. We're having fun. Leave us alone, my nigga. Cause we there this fun. Yeah, yeah, like we're having fun. fun. I got, I got, the, you know, what I'm saying, I, I, I got, I got some, I got some nice green in the, in the, in the building. You know, somebody let me hold their lighter. I done met a couple people. You know, I've said, oh, yo, I see you. Okay, cool. Like, I'm having fun, bro. So, so exactly, whatever. I don't even know how that was that hot. Like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Everyone hates you. <laughs>
I hate that. Oh, why was that even that hot? That was so, that was so gassed up. Like, shut up, because y'all be the same they people. Gassing. Yeah, they be the same people. Like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all New York niggas though. Let's address y'all. Oh, okay. Let's address us. I think it was like 2015. <laughs> I don't know if it was like. Yo, yeah, why you suck it? Why? Is that? Uh, like, <laughs> You know how to just ease through this. I think it was like 2015 or 16. Y'all niggas was doing a lot in them battles. Like mm. y'all was trying to get lit in the background. I didn't talk to him. Intense. Shout out to Queen Split. <laughs> y'all niggas don't try to. Y'all not do that money angle. Y'all niggas was doing some bullshit. Fucking battles. You niggas got to this money. I paid the. Nah, y'all niggas was fucking battles. Up. We. That was a goody, like a goody, like. To have a Captain Crunch bar, talk that cereal out, sh- b. Yeah, that's, I hated that. I hate that era. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, I'm not about to let the South slide with this shit either. Spit that heat, y'all was y'all was wilding, y'all was wilding the fuck out. I don't know oh, what yeah, was going Middletown on. Middletown was doing a lot. Mid- he like, was doing a lot. like, yo, I said, matter of fact, shout the Middletown blower. He know how to get a scene started though, bro. I I seen uh Prep versus CeeLo. Prep sent that boy to the he did no bad. I check that out. God damn! In that one round, he fucked him up. Uh, but but gates the uh, gates of the garden that that little battle league and shit like that. Milltown blow his little new his new joint is. Did you write that? Did you write that after a dope bar? I'm like, oh god, this game changing. Got man. the new signature. Yeah, he got a new he got a new signature and shit. Like, like so that that yeah. But but nah, shout out to We Go Hard, man. I mean, I, they was getting all the flack for that shit. But yeah, yeah that, they was doing a lot. I hate that shit. Too. In the building, I'd be a little aggy about little shit like that, too. Or whatever. Like, the worst, the most awkward shit in the building is when everyone's going crazy. you like, yo, that wasn't even hot like that. That wasn't even crazy. And you like the only nigga, but no one knows that. They just going to assume that. Like, damn, why y'all cheer for that? Don't say y'all. That shit was trash. <laughs> Why y'all cheer for that? Yeah. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, be yelled on the like, yo, that was trash. Like, be that one dude after everybody's done cheering. So that's a fact. Listen, man. Oh, I seen fifteen minutes of fan like uploaded the second part of the interview, and uh, mm. Mook said he was like scheduled to battle Surf for like the last two years. I don't know, but Mook said he's gonna be battling this year. Basically. Really? Yeah. So, okay. okay. We're, we're gonna see Mook this year. All right. And, um, he said he he said he he coming back. He he don't he not into none of these niggas. He don't like how they rap. He don't like the animations. He said he's coming back. He gonna he gonna show this why he's Mook. So, all right. I'm interested Mook. to see what he what he got. All right, Mook. And he cool. And he back cool with Rex. I seen niggas put up some shit. Yeah, like, man. The mob is that the mob is, is fire. Back. That's yeah. good for everyone. Like, we can't just be, can't be having y'all. Like, first of all, like, don't ever be, like, what? Like, nobody believed y'all anyway. I'm just saying. Like, come on, man. Rex and Mook, fuck out of yeah. here. Nobody, nobody here to see y'all beef, man. Y'all, get, get, get that shit together, bro. It's already awkward with K-Shine and them, man. That shit, I've never, I've never not thought that that shit wasn't awkward. You know what I mean? Like, that was always awkward to me. Um, the K Shine, yeah, um, like K Shine, not with Rex. Like, sort of God, I listen to Rex first round against K Shine probably once a week. Like, it's just amazing. I never treated you I like a hype man. You like a hype, yeah. Oh God damn! Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that. That was fire. Like, what's uh, the most heartfelt round you ever heard from Batter? Like, yo, this shit hit meet my soul, man. He's hitting niggas. you in the chest. Oh man, yeah, uh, like, surf. Surf third round against Hitman is just like just beside, but and let me say this: besides them front door joints, we the ones we know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What's the, Dre, what's the like? Dre Vicious versus Geechee, man. Whoa, that one, that one hit hard with his mom up there and stuff like that. Oh, that yeah. was that was a heavy round. Um, body that he body that, and and and, and then T Top uh talking about his um the 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 situation with City Towers where he was talking about his uh step pop. Like, yeah, oh man. yeah, that was L. That was definitely um, yo for me, son. Like, bro, oops, I know oops, shit was daylight, son. Like that round when he was talking about his daughter. Like, yo, I, I, I think I, sh- I shed a tear during that round, yo. One of daughters, yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It's underrated one, but go back to X third, verb third for uh X Factor. 
Mm. When, when he talking that, about walking to I the church, I can't go back. It's like my transmission slipping, and I had to beat the TV. That like that hurt. Hurt. Yeah. Talk that pain every now and then. And when he was, when he was, when he was talking about uh, you don't know yeah. about having to walk to the church to get a turkey on Thanksgiving because they yeah. help. Like yeah, shout out to Cat man. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, that 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 shit right there, man. That's hit uh shout yo shout out to dj in the group glue talking about his son was fire um i i think damn it was a it was a couple there's a couple more that i i just like it that resonated with me and like that um i like, I like a, the rounds where them. like i like the rounds where like the battler can make me feel like i'm i was right there with them in that moment like yeah, I, I don't know. Like when Geechee rap, a lot of times, like Geechee make me feel like I'm from college. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah. Make- like 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 Calico when he when he really not not a uh, shoebox cow, not not a uh, T Grizzly cow, mm-hmm. like like young Calico. You know what I'm saying? That that low Caesar cow. Mm-hmm. That need, like yeah. he make you feel like you you grew up in Detroit. Like he he could really make you paint that picture for you. Like them them the kind of. Yeah. Like. He uh, just took an 80 band loss. He ready to cut his wrist. Facts. Like, like, like cow just cow just rap about some shit that don't got nothing to do with nothing, but it's still gonna hit you. Like Shout out yeah. to that Remy verse versus T Double. Jesus Christ, man. What niggas don't know. I don't think people know about that. Don't bruh. Where the battle was, rap fans at? He was talk, he was talking that shit. That one that hits you in your chest, man. Send us those, man. Like the ones that just yeah. was like, ah. And, yeah, Rex so hit, man. Ain't nothing sweet on how I hold my gun. Yo, ill, I hold my gun more than I hold my son. Like, uh, oh my uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo. I forgot about the T double Remy D. Where the real battle rap fans at? Not Remy D. Home niggas. Hey, Remy D was nice. <laughs> it was. Not the point system. Where's the real? <laughs> Go watch that battle if y'all haven't seen that. Remy D versus uh T Dub O, man. Jesus Christ. I yeah. forgot about that. Hollow, man. hollow with the got out and shot the fair one. I love that scheme, bro. Whoa. That that's, fu- the like, that's real. That's some real shit right there. Yo, you know what? It's a lot of dudes that got saved with footage that didn't come out too. Like, like don't think <laughs> us, us us we know about like Cal, you Cal got saved with a lot of footage that didn't, didn't he lose the um that shit go together. Lost oh, the G. Remember they didn't put the footage he lost out the G E dollar. He yeah. lost the meta. He like, like Cal lost he yeah, has the bad losses that didn't drop. <laughs> Cal had the original torque push for niggas like we know Cal, Cal we love you, but we know what happened behind the scenes. All right. A lot of the battles go away, man, that you lost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Facts. laughs> oh man. Uh big big T to um I mean I know I know it wasn't a whole round, but man, like gun sounds, I know you're tired oh, of, them. Side of them. Imagine what it's like to be on Imagine the other how, side how, of what? The side of them. Jesus, they was outside was four five something. I, what? what he tell uh nah, what he told DNA, he said you wouldn't look at the eyes of a nigga who was trying to grill you, but try looking at the eyes of a nigga trying to kill you. When they that was right after he got shot, so mm-hmm. came back in body DNA. Like, don't. Yeah. Listen, man, you wrong points too, nigga. Y'all know about this. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many points that is. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know if y'all that's, might as well that's three. This convo, man. I don't know if that's four points. I don't. I, I feel don't like know. I'm at church right now. I don't. Man. I don't know y'all how to put. Extra. I don't know how to put points on real. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to quantify. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. You know what I mean? I don't know how to hear a color. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Just saying. But um. Man, it's a lot of it's a lot of real real thoroughbred moments in this shit. That's a fact. So we we that's can't we cannot lose sight of that. And uh, just a mm-hmm. little quick OBR session. I might have seen the best heavyweight boxing match <laughs> I've ever seen. I didn't get to see it live, but I seen in it a me. long time, bruh. Yo, let me let me tell you something. I went I went to uh I went to Jack Dempsey's down in, in the city, right? And and I'm I'm in there, right? And it's like quiet, right? Cause I, I didn't get there on time or no shit like that. I get there and it's quiet. Motherfuckers is mesmerized. Everybody just waiting, looking. And I yo, we watching this goddamn fight. When I tell you this shit was riveting, it was like you can't script a better fight. Like, I mean, yeah, it has some sloppy ass moments, man, but, but Deontay Wilder versus Ortiz, bruh. Listen, the way Wilder was on the ropes, Ortiz was whooping that ass at one point, bro. Like, like yeah. for real. I'm like, yo, how is he still up? I'm like, that's just that. 
Like he had the strength of like a thousand slaves in that moment. I don't know what. Like there was that struggle strength. Like, <laughs> like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just not going down. Like Ortiz was hitting this man with the thunderous shots. I'm like, Wilder, you going out crazy. He got the wobbly drunk legs and then he just make the comeback. Like, man, it ended up getting the knockout. I'm like, bro, you got, yo, that fight right there? Because I yeah. remember when the heavyweight division was lit. Like when it was just swooping city. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. Like when it was fire, but man, it's setting it up crazy. Cause man, if if, if Joshua do what he need to do, bruh, next. bruh, if he do what he need to do against this next fight that he got, and then we can set up Wilder. Jo- oh my God, bruh! I, I think that's what the people want. Man. That that one's gonna that one's gonna end. That what that was gonna stop a lot of shit. Like facts. Mm-hmm. Like that, that 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 that's that's, that's the one right there, man. But it's it's good to have an American champion. I was fucking with that heavy, bro. Yeah, this this weekend was a little weird though. Lost all type of power and all type of stupid shit. Yeah, y'all had a y'all y'all. I heard y'all was going through it out there, man. I seen Black Panther again. Took my grandma to see it this time. Right. You know what I'm saying it was still crowded. You know what I'm saying I'm glad we supporting for that. What was that week two? Yeah, it was week uh, like three or four. I feel like. I feel like it's almost been a month. Almost yeah, still out there support, man. So yeah, yeah, You're getting that, getting that money. Shout out to Lapita. Shit, I would. Oh, go, yeah, Lapita, I seen. Yeah, I would yeah, go just looking. to look at her. Like she just exquisite, just African, just. Oh yeah, get out one some shit last night. Shout out to uh, Jordan Peele. Oh, oh yeah. Man. I, uh, wait, wait, wait. We yeah. gotta get to it, man. Because I'm, I'm sleep during the Oscars. Because don't know black, no no black people win no awards. Shout out to Jordan Peele. Right. Yeah, I catch yeah. the review. I catch the review. Right. Um, I wake okay. up. I look at my Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Kobe Bryant is holding the motherfucking Oscar. Like, it's an MVP award. What? I'm, yeah, Kobe. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what is going on? Why is Kobe? Did Kobe like get back in the league? Like, what's going on? Like, was it? A, it was for the, for the for the for the speech. What is shit he put it, out? It was last a. Year? Uh, it was a. He wrote a uh, animated. It was an animated short film. I remember uh, this shit. Yeah, last year. Yeah, Arthur, yeah, Arthur, yeah. Late. Yeah. And apparently it's actually pretty good. So now I gotta, I gotta definitely watch. Like I gotta check it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, he bodied that. He bodied that. I see yeah. what they doing. I, I pose. Yeah, I see what y'all doing up to on the West Coast. Y'all know he wasn't better than Mike. So y'all trying to give <laughs> oh, him like just pad the stat sheet, and he got an Oscar. Like somebody's gonna pull that one out in the <laughs> argument. Somebody's gonna pull that. At the YMCA, yeah, that's yeah, that's like the coming. when you done that's playing coming. basketball, that argument after you done playing basketball is wild. That's a stat now. Been like, have y'all been ever been in a basketball argument of anything or anything? Any argument so powerful that just want to physically harm each other or other? Nick, like, it's like, oh, bro, yeah. we, we we arguing about basketball about the fight, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. when he's yeah. get to pulling the shorts up to the, to the stomach, shit. Like, <laughs> 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 niggas be hot. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Hey, yo, that that or that one be laughing too hard while you, you know what I mean? You going at it, you see out your peripheral, you see, yeah. you see old boy that laughing. Nigga, you know you could beat up, yeah. You know you could beat up. You like, I don't even know why you laughing, Terrence. I don't even know why you laughing. Like, you know yeah, what I'm you saying? Don't, you don't even call. You never want to be that nigga that can't laugh. Like you that nigga can't laugh. Like ah, oh, you might, like you, <laughs> yeah, my nigga, yeah. if you that guy in the group. That's the guy you don't want to be. The nigga that can't laugh. See you cracking a smile. All right, all right, all right, Jay. Yo, yo, I seen. I remember that time, bro. Don't even make me do that, man. Don't even laugh. Like I don't so, even. Uh, our man's, our man's. <laughs> Shout out to Rome. He dropped this boy's life mixtape on Twitter. Like, all right, look. Wait, he did. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? A, wait a minute. What? <laughs> he said Rome, he just. Oh, Rome I did. Posted, I seen it. I seen yeah, it. Yeah, Rome it. posted his uh, NBA draft uh, tryout camp video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Versus the. No disrespect, but like, <laughs> this I don't know what's wrong with playing against people in the wheelchair Olympics. But I don't know what. Is, I, don't know. It, it, I don't want to be disrespectful to the people that was in that video. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. It's somebody like, said that the people in the joint had like they were like out of shape. Like <laughs> niggas had some of them people like, had like I don't I don't want to I want to be disrespectful with some of those guys in that video. I saw a, and I saw a playing in a helmet like. <laughs> 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 Yo, Drizzy, chill out, man. You don't know who, you don't know who listening. All right, you're right, you're right. My bad, my bad. Yeah, we got yeah. It. We got uh, it. But, but yeah, the, the guys that he was playing against, man, Rome. <laughs> he says, <some> <laughs> 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 "I'm like, 
did not one of them niggas, man. But I ain't gonna lie, Rome was going off though. Rome was cooking. Hey, Rome was cooking. But that was like he was cooking though. He's yeah. better off showing himself shooting around by himself yeah. than playing against them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> go watch that footage, society. Please go check out that wrong. Shout out the road, life, man. man. Shout out the road, man. So, he, so he I heard it was. I heard the defense was very. Um, what's the word? Porous. I heard it was uh, porous defense. Uh, he wasn't playing no D at all. It was uh, yeah. It wasn't no. It wasn't that body up like. You know what you like that ball like the playing like basketball like. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. that that stringent, you know what ba- good basketball look like. That real tough defense, like everything is, you know what I mean? Like like they're even you the rebounds is hard, like, like heavy. You feel me? But the reason I'm mad at Rome is cause like he was the only nigga holding R2 to hold like everybody else. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. Like he was you the only nigga holding R2 to like Every other nigga was not playing. Nobody in that video was playing hard. Hey, it's hey, it like Rome. Rome had I was holding the R two button with the fatigue off, so he just with hey, was yo, like, oh, nigga. Rome, why are you playing so hard? <laughs> nigga was playing extremely hard. Hey, hey, the funniest part is every time the nigga scored, he starts tying. Like he starts putting the three to the head, all types of. Like, yeah, he why did the, oh he wait did a minute, the he didn't do the he didn't do the mellow. He didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He was no. he was doing the Mike shoulder shrug. Like I don't know. Like get out of here. Wait, what yeah. against against? Uh, he was he against was. a bunch of forty year old men with cerebral palsy. Like what? The, the, he just shoulder shrugging and. Bruh, y'all, this it's one of the best battle rap blogs of all time. It's top twenty. <laughs> it's definitely top twenty, man. Rome is hilarious. <laughs> Rome, Rome is a legend, man. Rome, Rome is, is one of the funniest in battle of history. Because <laughs> the thing is, he be dead serious though. Like that's what make it funny. I like it. I I like the dead serious. Like yo, like yeah, this is my life. Like this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? What I uh, do. Yeah, yeah. Did he talk to the camera after? Because that's how you know. Like he give you a little nah, camera. Nah, he had like, it in. Uh... What's the what's the he had it on broadcast the way he put his uh, he put his camera on broadcast. Wait a second, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like the two K view, like the yeah, he put his camera on. Oh, broadcast. come on, man! Yeah, yeah. yeah he man. made sure he made eye contact with the camera after every shot. Like, after every know. shot. Listen, yeah. man. Listen. Sometimes, sometimes you got you know you got to be your biggest fan. Sometimes, man. You know what I mean? Like, like believe. <clears throat> yeah, salute, man. We we, we respect it, wrong. I respect yeah, shout it. Out I respect it, and, and and shout out to everybody that's that's getting on me for calling calls, man. Listen, you're not about to just do anything out here. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where you, I don't know where y'all play ball. We call trap tra- like travel. Like some people, you ever play with those people? They don't even call a call. They be like, check ball, like my ball, like they don't even. Oh, they don't, they don't even, they say, they even say, say nothing. You say? You're like, what do you mean? Like, like tra- you supposed to like you already knew that you travel. Hey, nah. you know, wait, don't you hate playing against the niggas? But like. They travel or something, but somehow they keep the ball. Like you I don't hate that. <laughs> I, yo, bro, like it'd be hard to get any any type of anything. Oh God, that's, that's why I'm gonna shoot for it, bro. Man, hey, I was playing at LA Fitness like three days ago, man. Playing a fifteen. Yeah. We had fourteen for about thirty five minutes. You know, when you get fourteen, <laughs> niggas don't let you shoot for nothing. Niggas is fouling. Niggas got the best D of all time. Like, <laughs> yeah. You got to like you got to hit a three on game point. You you can't do a layup. So they're gonna foul you every time. That's a fact. That's a fact. I, I love the post game loser argument. I'm good for a post game. Like if we like if all of us play, you know me, you just like like we we play uh, and we lose. Whoa, my post game bars is official all the time. <laughs> I have you a photographic memory of every pick you didn't set. Every time, like cut, like like every every. Box him. Why you ain't box him out? See, that's the problem now. I'm that guy. Oh, you one of them niggas. Oh, yeah. I got a photographic Tony, memory for Tony you niggas. Tony nigga that don't score no points, so he just get mad about everything else. Every other thing. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Are you with a nigga who didn't score the whole game? It's crazy, but that that's a fact. I might. Well, playing with these new these new generation, like, these don't take it to the basket. These niggas all three points. They're curries. Steph All Curry three. ruined basketball. Like we and already now, know. I'll be feeling like the old nigga. Take that to the rag. I'll be mean, take it to the rag. I'm not. Hey, you ever be on a break? You ever be on a break and you lead a nigga to the cook to the hoop, but he runs to the corner and shit for a oh three? Oh my like, god, that is the worst. 
I'm like, bro, like a whole the things be having a whole crossover, like mating fall, everything. Super take three steps back to shoot a three. I'm like, like this is we only playing ones and twos. We ain't playing like real threes. Like, nigga, take that to the basket. What is you doing? Whatever. This is on. This is getting to the point now. They not even take. They far beyond the arc just shooting. Like they not even taking it to the because they. They shoot from the half court logo, like yeah, like like regular. <laughs> it's different, man. Yeah, it's man. different now. Listen, man. Listen, take that shit to the rack. Anyways, uh, uh, so so we've established that Steph Curry ruined pickup basketball. Uh, shout out to my man's in in the group, and um, yeah. So so yo, shout out to everybody that's out there right now, mm-hmm. uh, still rocking with us. We had somewhere up, upwards of like two fifty, including the mm-hmm. society and including the people that's live on YouTube responding. Definitely hit us up, man. Shout out to Geechee Gotti. Follow him at Geechee Gotti. Follow me at Tone Capo. Hit Driz up at I am Driz double underscore. Send your, send your mail for Posey to the Black Compass Twitter. That's Black Compass S on Twitter. And uh, fellas, I think uh, I think we all good. That's it, man. Yeah, that was a good show, man. That's a fact. We got to cut this one up, though. We got a lot of cutting and chopping to do. We, 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 yeah, we got we, some. We appreciate our listeners for hanging in. Who is we? I got a lot. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be a part of the we. All right. Doing that. Part, part of the we. <laughs> My name is. All right, y'all. Salute.